Hi everyone, uh, uh, this video basically we are looking into resetting the camera. Um, the situation happened, you might come across a situation that uh, the camera is IP connected to NVR but it's not working or you have changed that NVR to a new NVR and the camera is not coming up on, on display um, or can be many other reasons actually. So resetting the camera uh, helps quite a lot. Uh, so for example, camera is connected to NVR the resetting might be a, a tough part. C uh, put, can remove the camera from NVR, put on a PoE switch, uh, you know, so so basically carry a PoE switch with you all the time. Uh, so plug in that IP camera to a PoE switch, um, you know, and then uh, connect that PoE switch to your route router, uh, uh, and then your PC to the router as well, uh, and then open SADP tool on your laptop or PC and then you can see the camera directly. Now you can do many settings. Resetting actually is also possible physically on the camera. Some some of the cameras have reset button on it. So you can always open the camera, uh, go to the you know so, uh, location where you install the camera, uh, open the lid uh, and reset button might be there. So that's one way option one option of resetting the camera. Uh, sometimes you can't access the camera because it's too high or, or for many other reasons. Then you can do via a PC like we have this SADP tool on PC. Uh, so we can see the camera for example this is the camera which I have installed outside um, and it's now connected to my PoE switch PoE switch is connected to my router um, and my PC is also connected to the same router so I can see the cameras on my SADP tool I can see the IP address is standard for the for 15 um, so resetting is easy just pick up a browser Internet Explorer for example Right, and go to your 10.4.4.15. That's the IP address of the camera which you just saw here. And you want to reset the camera, right? That that's the thing actually. Uh, so we are going inside. There might so let's do this way first. So configuration, quickly maintenance, and then click on default. This will reset the. Uh, device to to the the settings when you first got it all right so that's one option let's say you don't remember the password because there are might be situation where you don't know the password and you can't log into the camera so and then this resetting will not will not be possible for you then the option is to basically export the file well, that means uh, uh, so, so click on forgot password link because you don't have the password so click on forgot password export the file to for example desktop and this will export the file to your desktop send the file to hick um, to your supplier or to us if you bought from us we are more than happy to help send it to us and we'll send you a reply with another file and then you just import the file uh, so save the file on your desktop for example and then uh, let's say uh, this is the file for example uh, which was it just came back to me right let's this is just an example I'm giving it. so I click on that open and then put a new password this basically gives a new password to the camera once you have the new password that means you are the uh, you know the password that means you can do configuration of the camera that means you reset the camera again you can reset the camera if you want to you can do many things so uh, and then one more thing which I want to tell you is DSCP uh, uh, enable the SCP as well and then put the password again whatever your password is the new password to modify that means now your camera is uh, on DSC enable the SCP mode what it means is that uh, when camera is connected to LAN it will pick up a local LAN IP address without a problem uh, or if it's connected to uh, NVR it will pick up a local IP address uh, from inside the NVR so again not a problem uh, so enable the SCP on camera is a good option as well. Alright, thanks so much. Cheers. Thanks for watching.